Hi guys, Bobby Gass here. Christmas, it's Christmas Day. I, uh, I was a bad boy this year, so, you know, I kind of figured Santa wasn't going to leave me no presents. I've been kind of humbugging it. I didn't put up my tree or, or any Christmas decorations. And I got a whole pile of Christmas cards from people. A bunch of VC guys, too. Thanks, fellas. But anyhow, Santa Claus, I knew he wasn't going to bring nothing, so I was going to rob him. <laughs> but he never showed. <laughs> he never showed. But my kid brother, Teddy, I dropped over there yesterday, and he was telling me he was humbugging it, too. But he did put up the tree. <laughs> All of his family's gone to St. Martin's or some other place. Stupid assholes during this COVID nonsense. If they can't get back into Canada, that's their tough luck. Anyhow, uh, he was humbugging it too, but when I went over there, he had his tree up. <laughs> and I said to him, well, what's going on here? I thought you were humbugging it. You weren't going out for dinner or nothing. And he says, well, I, I relented, he says. And I gave him my present. And it was the only present he had on the tree, under his tree. <sighs> Poor kid. You know, all the family's gone someplace and shit like that, right? You people, you know, you, you kids, you forget about your parents as you uh, get older. You're stupid. <laughs> Anyhow, Teddy had this thing here waiting for me when I went over there. Oh, look, it's even got a tag on it. Oh, it doesn't say nothing on it, though. So let's just see what my kid brother gave me. Ah, oh, this is grass. I can tell every year he always gives me a bunch of grass. <laughs> oh, I used to love ripping the paper up when I was a kid under the tree. We didn't have much presents when I was a kid growing up. Sometimes there was nothing under the tree. So when you got something, boy, oh boy, were you ever a happy camper. Oh. What did I tell you? That's pot number one. He just numbers them. And what's that? Last year's pot. That's pretty good pot, actually, last year. This stuff is pretty good, too. He didn't have much of this stuff this year. He only got about four or five ounces, he said. But this is really nice pot. Hey, Santa Claus, Merry Christmas. <laughs> what else do we got in here? <laughs> Don Cherry Grapes. <laughs> He's a Canadian icon for some of us people up here. He tells it like, they, like he does. He tells it like it is Don Cherry, boy. Let me tell you. That's pretty good. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what else have we got? There's something else in here, too. No Christmas card. He already gave me one uh, last week. Oh, what's this? A book? No, it can't be a book. He knows I don't read anymore. I used to read all the time. We'd work together. I'd be reading a book while he'd be driving. Cookies. From, oh, from the Sweet Gallery. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That's a fancy sweet place. $30.55. He told me yesterday that he went to the Sweet Gallery to pick up things. <coughs> His wife, they're separated now. Every year she used to make me cookies and, uh, you know, I'd get cookies to take home, right? I like cookies. Bobby likes cookies. Bobby loves cookies. 
Actually, I bought some records off of Jenny, Baysides, and the only reason I did that is because I, I'd beg her for cookies, peanut butter cookies that she made me the last time I bought something off her. <laughs> and uh, she sent me some cookies, so I, you know, she sending me cookies on the next batch of records I bought off her. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Happy New Year. <laughs> well, New Year's is over. I mean, Christmas, this goddamn year is over. It's COVID shit, eh, guys? Smarten up. Later. <laughs>